friends welcome all of you to the new lecture on measurement of precipitation i am professor deepak narayan patankar i am going to deal with the various types of rain gauges for measurement of precipitation in this particular lecture so let us start precipitation is expressed in terms of the depth to which rainfall water would stand on area if all the rain were collected to it means what if you are having a large surface area which is perfectly water tight and you are allowing the rainfall to uh, fall on that particular surface then naturally if the surface is water tight the rainfall will not will not percolate to the ground and if the uniformly rainfall it is collected all over the surface then the height of that particular water volume will represent the depth of rainfall or simply we, we, we call it as a depth of precipitation thus 1 cm of rainfall over a catchment area of 1 km square represents the volume of water equal to 10 to 4 m3 in the case of snowfall an equivalent depth of water is used as the depth of precipitation because snowfall it is it is in the form of solid you are not getting the precipitation in the form of liquid so that uh, there should be conversion of this particular snowfall depth to an equivalent depth of water the precipitation is collected and measured in a rain gauge terms such as pluviometer ombrometer and hydrometer are used sometimes to designate a rain gauge a rain gauge essentially consists of a cylindrical vessel assembly kept in the open to collect rain the rainfall catch of the rain gauge is affected by its exposure conditions to enable the catch of rain gauge to accurately represent the rainfall in the area surrounding the rain gauge standard settings are adopted for setting up a rain gauge the following considerations are important the ground must be level and in the open and the instrument must be must present on a horizontal catch surface the gauge must be set as near the ground as possible to reduce wind effects but it must be sufficiently high to prevent splashing flooding etc the instrument must be surrounded by an open fenced area of at least 5.5 meter by 5.5 meter no object should be nearer to the instrument than 30 meter or twice the height of obstruction rain gauges can be broadly classified into two categories with non recording rain gauges and recording rain gauges friends all these aspects for setting up a rain gauge on a rain gauge stations are very important because you will get accuracy of the data only when all these standards are met so one has to make sure that the installation of rain gauge at the rain gauge station will require or will meet these criteria which are mentioned above so let us move towards the type of rain gauges let us start with the non recording rain gauges in india simon gauge is a popularly known and used non recording rain gauge it is the simplest form of rain gauge as you can see in the figure which consists of a funnel metallic cylinder collecting bottle it is essentially consists of a circular collecting area of 5 inches diameter connected to a funnel the rim of the collector is set horizontally plane at a height of 30.5 cm above the ground level the funnel discharges the rainfall catch into a receiving vessel which is also called collecting bottle the funnel and receiving vessel are housed in a metallic container water contained in the receiving vessel is measured by a suitably graduated measuring glass with an accuracy of 0.1 mm means what whatever the amount of precipitation it is collected into this non recording type of simons rain gauge you have to pour that particular precipitation into a measuring cylinder then only you can find out the depth of precipitation for uniformity the rainfall is measured every day at 8:30 am indian standard time and it is recorded as the rainfall of that day the receiving bottle normally does not hold more than 10 cm of rain and as such 
in the case of heavy rainfall the measurements must be done more frequently and entered however the last reading must be taken at 8:30 am and the sum of previous readings in the past 24 hours entered as the total of that day proper care maintenance and inspection of rain gauges especially during dry weather to keep the instrument free from dust and dirt is very necessary the details of installation of non recording rain gauges and measurement of rain are specified in indian standard is 4986 1968 <coughs> non recording type of rain gauge can also be used to measure the snowfall also when snow is expected the funnel and receiving bottle are removed and the snow is allowed to collect in the outer metal container the snow is then melted and the depth of resulting water is measured anti freeze agents are sometimes used to facilitate melting of snow in areas where considerable snowfall is expected special snow gauges with shields for minimizing the wind effect and storage pipes to collect the snow over long durations are used then move towards the recording type of rain gauges recording gauges produce a continuous plot of rainfall against time and provide valuable data of intensity and duration of rainfall for hydrological analysis of storms the following are some of the commonly used recording type of rain gauges first one is a tipping bucket type rain gauges friends i have used four figures to illustrate the tipping bucket type of rain gauges just go through it it has an arrangement of a tipping bucket it has a receiver cylindrical then a funnel and here you can see it is a tipping bucket type mechanism which rotates and further the movement it is recorded on a graph paper which is attached to a rotating drum all these figures are taken from different literatures sources they represent one and the same thing that is tipping bucket type of recording rain gauge typically this is a 30.5 cm size rain gauge adopted for use by united states weather bureau the catch from the funnel falls onto one of a pair of small buckets these buckets are so balanced that when 0.25 mm of rainfall collects in one bucket it tips and brings the other in other one in position the water from tipped bucket is collected in a storage can the tipping actuates an electrically driven pen pen to trace a record on clockwise driven chart the water collected in the storage can is measured at regular intervals to provide the total rainfall and also serve as a check it may be noted that the record from the tipping bucket gives data on the intensity of rainfall further the instrument is ideally suited for digitalizing the output signal and second type is a weighing bucket type in this the rainfall it is received through a funnel and it is caught into a bucket further the movement with the help of this particular rotating this particular pen it is calculated on this particular revolve, revolving arm in this type of rain gauge the catch from the funnel empties into a bucket mounted on a weighing scale you can see here it is a weighing scale here this particular thing it it represents the weighing scale the weight of the bucket and its content are recorded on a clockwise driven chart the clockwork mechanism has the capacity to run for as long as one week this in instrument gives a plot of the accumulated rainfall against elapsed time that is mass curve of the rainfall in some instruments of this type 
the recording unit is so constructed that the pen reserves the direction at every present value say 7.5 cm that is 3 inches so that a continuous plot of storm is obtained both this figure represent the same thing that is weighing type of bucket then next is natural siphon type this type of recording rain gauge is also known as a float type gauge here the rainfall collected by a funnel shaped collector is led into a float chamber causing a float to rise as the float rises a pen attached to the float through a lever system records the elevation of the float on a rotating drum which is shown in figure driven by a clockwise mechanism a siphon arrangement empties the float chamber when the float has reached a present maximum level this type of rain gauge is adopted by the standard recording type rain gauges in india and its details are described in indian standard is 5235 1969 this is a typical graph which is showing the output of a natural siphon type of a rain gauge measurement in this particular typical chart you can see that a rainfall of 53.8 mm in 30 hour is recorded the vertical lines in the the vertical lines in the pentris correspond to the sudden emptying of the float chamber by siphoning action these vertical lines you can see this these represents sudden emptying of the float chamber by the siphoning action it is obvious that natural siphon type recording rain gauges gives a plot of mass curve of the rainfall see you can see here the total rainfall it is 53.8 mm on y axis you can see the millimeters of rainfall and on x axis you can see the hours so initially as the rainfall started the bucket is full at this particular moment and it is emptied via siphoning action again it is it is filled again it is emptied by the siphoning action again it is filled in a short duration and emptied in a very short duration now it is emptied and filled and again emptied now it has taken some more duration to fill and again emptied and further it is continued after 24 hours okay so total amount of rainfall it is 10 plus 10 20 30 40 50 and this particular 3.8 that is 53.8 m <clears throat> third one is telemetering type of rain gauge these rain gauges are of the recording type and contain electronic units to transmit the data on rainfall to a base station both at regular intervals and and on interrogation the tipping bucket type of rain gauge being ideally suited is usually adopted for this purpose any of the other types of recording rain gauges can also be used equally effectively telemetering gauges are of utmost use in gathering utmost use in gathering rainfall data from mountains and generally inaccessible places <clears throat> radar measuring radar measurement of the rainfall the meteorological radar is a powerful instrument for measuring the aerial extent location and movement of rainstorms further the amounts of rainfall over large areas can be determined through the radar with a good degree of accuracy these are some standard reference books which are specified in your savitribai phule pune university's civil engineering syllabus of third engineering third year engineering i will request all of you to get these books procure from library purchase or get some free stuff from uh, internet thank you happy learning if you are having any doubt you are free to ask me on my email address dn vaidankar ce@sanjeevani.org.in thank you so much